have precision. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Justin Burke. I'm a vocal coach. Love me now. I'm on a mission to teach the world how to sing. I made you a free singing lesson. It's on my site, Singer. The link is down in the YouTube description. And not kidding, over 200,000 people in over 100 countries have been through that free lesson. And everybody that actually does the crazy exercises, hears an immediate improvement in their voice afterwards. And I know that that just sounds like I'm telling you what you wanna hear, but the reality is when it comes to singing, it's all about the mind to vocal cord connection. That's all we are improving. And so with the right exercises, you can improve that connection so fast. This is stuff that a lot of people don't know and a lot of people don't realize. You can't build any muscle on your vocal cords. All we are training is our mind-body connection. And I wanna take you through some exercises that are going to improve that connection really, really fast. It's not gonna be the end-all be-all for you, but it's going to get you started. The link is in the description. I will see you over on that site after this, but until then, let's watch this video. And this might seem a little bit random, it's it's an early morning vocal training with Sanu Nigam, and I am a fan of him. He, he, he is such a legend. He has such an incredible voice, um, just so good, total legend. And I think a lot of people will listen to someone like him and just say, oh, well, I could never do that. He was born with it. He has a gift from God, and I could never do it. And I mean, I'm sure that he has a gift from God, of course, but he's also had to do his part. He's had to meet halfway, you know what I mean? And actually put in work and actually train to get to where he is. And so I just wanna watch a couple of highlights from this training session and see what we can take from it. And then I also wanna give you just a really quick, what I call pre-lesson warm-up. You'll get a new pre-lesson warm-up with all 100 lessons in Singer. If you wanna check that out, it's on the same site where you can get the free lesson. But I'm actually going to just show you one of those out of many that I take you through. And I want you to follow along after my reaction so you can just skip ahead if you wanna go straight to it. And actually do the body releasing exercise or the tension releasing exercises rather. And then go to even speak and sing and you'll notice it's easier. I typically, every time before we vocalize, it's so important to release tension in the body. And so I just wanna take you through one of those really quickly. So you can go, go ahead and skip ahead or you can watch this reaction and then stand up and actually do the pre-lesson warm up with me. Let's go ahead and get into this. This is so random. If anybody walked in on me right now, they'd be like, what are you watching? No, but this is incredible. His range is insane. He's in what's called vocal fry coordination, where the vocal cords are coming together so slowly. He's barely releasing any air. In the vocal fry coordination, the vocal cords are vibrating slower than they ever will. Whereas when he gets up into his upper register, the vocal cords start vibrating really, really fast together. Do you need to know that to have an amazing voice? Absolutely not, but I thought I'd just let you know that anyway. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> Breathing through the nose, that's great. What a range. Incredible pitch accuracy. You're getting it from the legend himself. Breathe in through the nose, all right? I tell you that all the time, you gotta breathe in through the nose. Now he's pra he's changing up his vowels, so he's incorporating the same resonance with different vowels, as you can see him slowly starting to move away from just that open ah vowel. Then the increase in volume, that's called mesa de voce. Mesa de voce. When you're holding a note, you're staying on the same pitch, but you're increasing in volume. Try that right now. Pause this and try that. It's harder to do than you might think. Uh, 
Oh my, that precision. I gotta watch that one more time. And he's just going over those different ragas. He's just, he's just memorizing all those different ragas. And that's how when he's improvising in a song, it's just, he's just dancing. He's dancing around the, the chords that are being played in the instrumentation. It's amazing. Sheesh. And then back to that vocal fry. This is such a random video. You guys, we understand. But imagine, someone walks in. It's like, what are you watching? But you guys understand. Okay, you understand. This is good stuff. This is so good because this shows that you're not born with this amazing voice that so many people make it seem like. You're not. You have to train. You have to improve. He's doing this in the early morning. Wow. And that's how he has the kind of pitch accuracy that he has now. Incredible accuracy. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that accuracy. <laughs> you guys. This is serious stuff, okay? I'm laughing just because this is so hilarious that like we're watching this together. I don't know, it's just, it's funny to me, but you guys understand, without context, it'd be like, what the heck is going on? You guys understand the context. Okay, so he's stretching out the neck. Notice how he'll start here and then he'll stretch out the neck and then he'll go back to here, right? That's stretching out all these muscles, making sure all that is loose while he is vocalizing. So important to do all that. This is incredible. Again, you know, you, you, you have to realize that the best of the best trained to be the best of the best. They weren't born the best of the best and it's important to train with scales. That's why on Singer, the course that you can check out down in the description, there's over a hundred lessons all with 20 minutes of scales going from beginner to fast scales like that high level expert that are literally going as fast if not faster than that that you can practice with it is so important to practice with those scales and if you don't have a piano at home or i can't always go that fast while vocalizing it can be really important to have an audio session and a video that you can watch or listen to to practice with and you'll get that with Singer over hundreds of audio and video sessions that you can practice with just like that, that are 20 to 30 minutes where you can play it in the car. I know a lot of people that use Singer play it in the car. A lot of people will just do it while they're doing the dishes and they'll play it out in the kitchen. Some will go in the closet. You know, I love to go in my closet and do my Singer exercises because I can just get loud and it doesn't matter. But when I was in Los Angeles and the commutes were really long, I would do the practice sessions in the car um, because that was a great time to do it. You know, I'm stuck in the car for 40 minutes. I might as well be training my voice. And so that's why it's really convenient. Um, that's why people are loving Singer and getting such great results. So if you want to check that out, again, it's so important to do scale exercises. Take it from the legend himself, right? So anyway, if you, if you want a convenient way to do that, you can check out Singer as well. You can take the free lesson there as well. Link is in the description. Well, that was fun. I love watching that. Again, I love just exposing exposing i love exposing no i love exposing the fact that the legends had to practice to get to where they are too it it's just is what it is and you can do the same thing that's what i want you to realize you can do the exact same thing you have it in you too if you can speak you can sing all right and i'm going to leave you with a little pre-lesson warm-up i need you to stand up we're not even going to vocalize other than you're not gonna vocalize with scales yet. This is just going to be like vocalizing while shaking out the body, doing different stretches just to release tension. And then have fun with that exercise at the end. It's called an SOVT exercise. You're gonna place your arm over your mouth. 
it can be a great exercise to help warm up the voice and connect the range. And I always like to end on that before actually going into my scale exercises there, just trying to go. That probably looked ridiculous, but it's just connecting my entire range. It's a great way to do that. So you can explore your range with that exercise as well. I hope that you enjoy this quick little pre-lesson warm up. Let me know how it goes for you. So much love for you. And I will see you on the site in the description. Peace. All right, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is a box breath. Inhale on a five count, hold for a five count, exhale for a five count, hold for a five count, just to relax our body. Let's do this in through the nose. Hold. Exhale. Hold. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Hold. Now breathe in deep, great job. So that's just kind of relaxing the body. So now let's move on to actually releasing some tension. You're just going to bounce on an ah with me. Let's do this. Ah. Keep going, everything is releasing, the belly is releasing. Ah. Inhale. Ah. Great job, I know that's crazy, but it's just releasing the voice. Now we're gonna switch and go through every vowel. Ah, e, a, o, u. Let's do this, breathe in. One more. Now that can be incredible for a tight voice. You can already hear my voice releasing. If you still feel tense, you might wanna continue going through that. You might wanna pause this and keep going. Otherwise, we're going to move on to the next exercise. And that is a breathing exercise. You're gonna breathe in with that 360 degree technique through the nose. And you're gonna hold a TS sound. And while you're holding that, you want to feel that apoggio, uh, uh, that cough muscle around the belt region kick out just like we went over in a past breathing lesson. So let's do this together. We're going to hold that TS sound for about 15 to 20 seconds. Breathe in. And. Great job. And if you weren't able to hold it for that long, that's okay. Keep practicing. You might start with just being able to hold it for 10 seconds. That's where I was at when I was first learning. And now I can hold it for past two minutes. So you're going to work up. You're going to improve as you keep going. We're going to switch and do another breathing exercise. This is going to help you hit those powerful high notes. You're going to breathe in with that 360 degree technique as we always do. And you're going to release the air on a shh as loud as you can like you're telling your little brother to be quiet or something, okay? And again, remember to feel that uh, apogeo kick out on this as well. So breathe in. Great job. All the muscles down here are engaging. The throat is releasing. Breathe in. Release all the air, good, and again. Good, one more time. Great job, if you wanna keep going, you can. 
Otherwise, we're going to move on to this next exercise. The final exercise is an SOVT exercise, which basically applies a really nice back pressure to the voice. We've been over this in a previous lesson. It's going to help you connect your range and really help you warm up to your high notes. So what you're going to do is you're going to breathe in, place your forearm over your mouth and go, and feel that apogeo kick out every time you do it. and have fun with this. But the key is that you have to release your voice. What I want you to do is I want you to literally do that a couple times. And then I want you to release your hand and let your voice come out and just literally you're going to see how loud you can get. You might want to do this in a closet. It's important that you don't hold your voice back on this. You really want to release it out. I'm telling you so many people are just holding themselves back. Like you have that beautiful voice. You're just holding it back. So let's explore. Let's experiment. Let's see what happens when you release it. Breathe in. See how loud you can get my poor neighbors over here. My goodness. But that's why I recommend you go into a closet and try that. Release your voice. It's important that you let your voice go before you go into this exercise session to really get the most out of it. All right, go ahead and move on to the lesson down below.